What's up my dudes? It is really cold out and today I'm going to tell you about my Canada Goose Chateau Parka. I don't know if I'm saying that right. To be honest, when I first sat down to do this review, I was really rooting against this parka. A little bit of background. So I bought my Chateau, Chateau, I don't know how to say it, parka, about 10 years ago on the dot. And back then I dressed a little bit different. It didn't really bother me that in spite of itself, Canada Goose is celebrated way more among the Gucci, Fendi, Prada circles than the Ironheart 316 Viberg circles that might be watching my channel. But okay, let's get into it. I can't even begin to tell you how stoked I've been at various points over the past decade to actually own this thing. So I live in the DC area now and our winters are, okay they're winters, but it's not really that big of a deal. I'm originally from the very top of a mountain in Pennsylvania and our winters are serious, like car freezing to the road serious, like you don't see the ground for months at a time serious, and I know that there are places much colder and much harsher, but our winters are nothing to sneeze at. I always wanted to invest in a coat that I didn't have to layer with. My toxic trait is that I don't like layering. When I bought this thing, I was usually between a medium and a large. Now I'm a little bit more between a large and an XL. This is actually a small, and it fits a little bit snug, but not uncomfortably so, especially with the articulated sleeves. So if it's zero degrees out, no degrees, and you put this thing on with just a t-shirt, you will be warm. If it's negative 10 degrees out, you will be warm, not just not cold, really warm, static warmth with just a t-shirt on underneath. Now, I tried on a whole bunch of parkas when I set out to buy this. Actually, I did about six months of research. A lot of them promise that Canada Goose is the only one in my experience that actually delivered. Now, the styling is really nice. The Chateau, I'm gonna go with Chateau. The Chateau to me is the slickest parka that Canada Goose makes. The pocket design with the hand warming material is great. The cell phone pocket that kind of traps your phone in a pit that it can't escape is great. I beat the brakes off this thing, and honestly, it looks basically new. As a matter of fact, they say dry clean only, but about two years ago, I checked the dry clean prices and was told it'd be about 75 bucks. So I thought to myself, I got eight years out of this parka at this point. I'm just going to throw it in the wash, and if something gets messed up, I'll put that $75 towards a replacement. Well, it came out completely fine, as it did the year after that, so that's something to keep in mind. I actually paid $525 for this guy on eBay from an authorized seller. They go for a whopping $1,300 something now, although sales do happen, <clears throat> especially if you buy it off season. Is it worth it? I'm going to be real with you. Living in the DC area, unless I got a really crazy deal, I'm skeptical that I'd replace this. But if I still lived in the highest borough in Pennsylvania, I'd be willing to fork over the cash. It's a personal decision, but it's also a little more of an investment than it is a style thing. So one thing I will say is that, I mean, look at this review. I'm talking about this parka that's 10 years old, and I'm telling you, it feels nearly as good as new. So it might be a good idea to check out the secondhand used market if you're kind of on a tight budget. There are fakes. There's fakes of pretty much everything with this kind of demand. I don't know how accurate the fakes are. That tends to change all the time. I do know that when I bought this one, the hologram sticker used to be the best way to tell that you have a real coat. So I would definitely say do your research on that. But if you could authenticate to a reasonable amount of certainty, I would kind of go that route. So again, I have to say, from a strictly utilitarian perspective, this is arguably the best money I've ever spent on something that I wear. I mean, I almost think of them more of how I'd think of a pair of composite tip boots. Like, yes, I do kind of care what they look like a little bit, but they're here to do a job. But on the style side of things, this is slick, and it goes with really anything. And I don't like the arm patch, but generally it does fly under the radar for the most part. So in spite of my best efforts to dunk on Canada Goose, I'd really have to give this an A. Because after 10 years, honestly, it's earned it. So what do you think? Feel free to speak your mind in the comments. And until next time, stay warm and peace, my dudes.